Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, then welcome. If you enjoy this video, then please feel free to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys like about this video. So as you can tell by the title today, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a office tour of Jaden and I's office. Jaden is filming this video so graciously for us. So yeah, basically today I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a walkthrough of our office. Jaden and I kind of put this office together in January. We painted, bought furniture, kind of organized everything so we could both work in here. We have a lot of stuff kind of crammed in here for all of Jaden's streaming stuff, all of my YouTube stuff. I have art supplies, I have my makeup, I have lots of stuff so it's a small room and we're trying to make the most out of it as you will see there's a lot of different storage items that I will be sharing with you guys today and yeah let's just jump on in So now you have a general idea of what the office looks like. Let's go into a little bit further detail of everything we have in here. So I guess the first thing I should address is this table. This is kind of a workstation table. I like to keep it cleared off because I do lots of different things with it. I use it whenever I have a project I have to work on. I want to paint. I want to use it to film a video. I want to use it to do make, I don't know, it's just like a working table. So I often pull this out and film here with this as my background. And then this is the chair that I have with it. This was originally supposed to be my desk chair because it was so, so cute. And then Jane got a gaming chair and I was like, wait, your chair's actually comfortable? Mine's not, I sit in here all the time and my back hurts. So this is really cute for like using the film videos, doing little things, but I love, love, love my gaming chair for like longer things. I probably sit, in there like multiple hours in a day so yeah much better than this for a full-time chair um, but moving on let's talk about the large elephant in the room this storage unit so starting off with the bottom of the shelving unit we have a few rows of boxes and bins full of lots of kind of miscellaneous objects that are nice to just kind of have tucked away that you don't need on a day-to-day -day basis but are nice to have around Starting off, we have this box here full of all makeup bags and bags on bags on bags. Kind of self-explanatory, just like literally any type of bag that you could ever dream of. Ikea, where you at? Um, yeah, so that's all that we have in there. Then we have a box of room decor. I don't really want to pull this out because there's like a lot of break holes in here, but we have like picture frames, like random ceramic goods. All that kind of stuff that I don't really want to get rid of, but don't really need out all the time. Then we have a box of gift wrapping, mailers, bubble wrap, tissue paper, anything you could ever think of. You're always going to need some of that around, so it's nice to have it all organized. Then we have a bin of fitness type stuff. We have a lot of Jaden's snowboarding stuff, some resistance bands my boxing gloves because you know just when you need to knock out you know you never know maybe when uh jaden doesn't want to give me a back massage <laughs> <laughs> then we have a drawer or a bin of literally like all full of loose leaves and it's like a thousand pounds and i can't believe it hasn't broken this box yet so we're just gonna leave it in there and then we have a box of it's kind of like a memory box. There's some of Jaden's stuff and mine in here. We have like photos. This is like one of my favorite pieces. This is a vest I had growing up. 
if this is not iconic, I don't know what is. I just can't get rid of it. My kids are going to look fly in this. So, yeah, just all that kind of stuff. Then this one is kind of miscellaneous. It's a lot of extra art supplies. I have a laptop stand. A few things that were kind of laying around that I needed to tuck away. And it all fits in there. Then in this next box, we have all school binders, notebooks, duotangs, folders, all of that fun, fun stuff. <laughs> Gotta have it. Then we have a bin of electronics where we have 541 HDMI cables, a air can, you know, and that dust gets in there. Then on these next couple shelves is where I keep majority of like my books, papers, notebooks, all of that stuff organized by color. So we have all of my dark books here along with my film camera. Then we have some file holders with some notebooks, sketchbooks, old planners, more loose leaf, some school textbooks, all that kind of stuff that just is nice to be kind of put away and it looks a little cuter in these little folders. Then we have my first DSLR camera and an extra lens. Next we have a bin full of all dog stuff. You know, some sweaters, some ear cleaners, some leashes, some treats, whatever you need. Then we have a bin full of stuff for my film photography. This was when I was taking a university film class and we had a bunch of supplies to be working in the dark room. So we have like aprons, gloves, developing paper, all that kind of stuff. Don't really use it at home, but it's nice to keep all organized here. Then we have some more of these file holders, which still contain, you know, textbooks, notebooks, sketchbooks, all that kind of stuff just tucked away in here. And then we have here some of my white books, along with some paintbrushes, this beautiful bust, what a wonderful lady. And above we have more white books and more paintbrushes. And coming up here is just basically more books organized by color. So I have yellow and orange books tied in with this yellow little vase that I keep a couple of spare change and spare buttons in. Then we have our red and pink books with this red little jar I got from Indigo, which is like a little emergency sewing kit, which comes in handy when my dog chews its stuffed animal's legs off. You know, perfect for that. Then we have the blue books, along with my best friend Steve, always there for me. And then we have my green books, along with this ancient coin meter that, I don't know, has just been in my family since I can remember, and I think looks cute with some little googly eyes on. And then above that we have this another storage container, which we keep our space heater in, which we aren't using obviously in the summer, but we kind of live on in the winter time so we just have it kind of tucked away up here and then in this next cubby we have some more film photography stuff this is a little pyramid of film we have some disposable film cameras as well as this jar of kind of memories of Jaden and I's concert tickets movie tickets little notes he's written me all that cute cute stuff then one over we have kind of a little cubby with some purses I don't really use purses like every single day and these ones are cute so I like to have them sitting out so I can see them more. And I have my little Arc de Triomphe, probably butchered that, um, <laughs> little Lego guy. This is from the Lego architecture collection which I'm kind of obsessed with. I've never been to Paris yet but it's really high on my list. And then I also have the Venice one here which I have been to Venice and is like my favorite per place I've ever been. And I just really, really love this little Lego piece. It's so cute. And along with that, I have one of my microphones and then this black paint bucket, which is like full of screwdrivers, hammers, nails. This is my handyman tool bin. And in the last cubby, we have this bin full of Jaden's lacrosse stuff. We have like stringing stuff for when he needs to restring lacrosse heads. And then we have this little small one with like travel stuff, like travel outlets. Uh, different currencies of like change and stuff, all that like, you know, travel stuff. 
And then here on this wall is kind of just like a little collage I randomly made when I wanted like a cuter filming background. So I pulled all these pictures offline and kind of made a little arrangement on Photoshop, which I thought would look the best and literally just printed them all off on my printer at home. So, I mean, not the best quality, but I mean, with like few resources, I think it worked out pretty well. And then on the top here, I guess I'll go over quickly. We have a couple miscellaneous items. Like this is my massive makeup case. This is a box of 500 envelopes. This is my typewriter. Jaden's drone. Jaden's old Xbox 360, which is just, you know, an ancient artifact at this point. Uh, this really old Nike box that Jaden had gotten some shoes in when he was like a baby. And it's the cutest thing in the whole wide world, so we've held on to that. And then this is a stack of canvases. Jaden and I filmed a video where we painted self-portraits of each other. It was kind of a little bit of a mess, and I haven't gotten around to editing much of it because the camera setup was bad. Because I screwed up. <laughs> so I don't know if that's ever going to see the light of day, but I don't really want to show you the pictures just in case it does. So if it doesn't, I'll show you on another day. And then in this little corner over here, this is usually pretty hidden because we keep our door open most of the times. And this is all kind of in the corner behind it. But we have this little bin here in the corner where we keep all of our blankets. We normally always have a blanket with us on our desk chairs. And then I have a white backdrop in this box here. And then we have our closet, which this is kind of uh, a little messy. But we keep all of our shoes in here with this huge shoe shelving unit. This door doesn't even open all the way because of the shelving unit in front of it. Um, but we just keep all of our bags, duffel bags, some larger purses, gym bags, all that stuff up here. All of our shoes. This is normally where I keep my ring light, my tripod. I have like a painting drop sheet on the bottom. You can't really see too well inside, but then I have some larger bins that I keep art supplies in, some of my bigger tote bags just kind of overflow. As well as on the back of the door, we keep just some of our heavier coats or in the winter time, like our day-to-day -day coats, we hang up here, which is really convenient. Okay, so Gunnar decided to join us for this portion of the video. Um, but this corner here is my desk area. So I have this large organizer here, my huge gaming chair, which after Jaden got his and I sat in it, I was like, well, that's real comfy, and now my chair sucks, so I, I need one as well. So this is my big bougie purchase in this office, and then we have my desk, which, you know, a monitor dedicated to Minecraft at all time, and a monitor dedicated to YouTube at all time. That's the only way it can be. Okay, so this drawer unit was originally dedicated towards art supplies as you will see as we go through it it is mainly art supplies we have a lot of kind of just general office stuff in here it's a little bit of an organized mess we have pens pencils tape everything you could ever need stapler glue all that kind of stuff up there and then we have more actual art supplies my oh, box of elastics broke so now it's just filling all of these Currently, but we have some painter's tape, some pencil crayons, some art markers, some smudge sticks, some cheap oil paints, some cheap acrylic paints, some watercolor brushes, some rulers, all that kind of stuff. Then next we have kind of our paper drawer. This is all like notepads and notebooks that I use kind of just whenever I just want to grab something. This is kind of a post-it notes paper. Then we have my printing paper down here. I don't know why this is in there. Ignore that. And then we have a cutting board underneath there for crafts. Then we have, these drawers are a little deeper than the top three. So this is where I keep more acrylic paints, a lot of kind of miscellaneous art stuff. This is all sketchbooks, watercolor paper, a, you know, acrylic uh, butcher's board, some watercolor paints here. What do we all have? Some Velcro from when I put my external hard drive on my laptop. Then we have more miscellaneous art stuff. I have this random guy that I don't really use. 
And then here we have a bin of book making stuff, which probably sounds outrageous, but I needed to literally hand make a book for my photography class. And it was a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. And this is the fancy paper I had to buy for that book. I have a lot of supplies left over from that project. And frankly, I don't want to talk about it. Then we have a huge color wheel obviously gotten a lot of use out of this. I accidentally ordered two of these off of Amazon and I thought that these were the small ones, but they weren't. Then we have this stuff. I don't know why. Then we have this box of calligraphy stuff because I was told I was gonna need that in my art class and we never even talked about it ever again. Then I have some spray paints. Um, okay, well, I know this is a, a finishing spray for my art stuff for my drawing class. Then I have three cans of spray paint because I always think that I'm going to be a lot more crafty than I actually am. And I have used these like maybe once or twice, but they are cute. So good stuff. Then this is a bin of sewing stuff as well as some stickers I made. But uh, yeah, I haven't sewed for many, many years, but I was really into it in like high school and I acquired a lot of this stuff and it's something that I would like to get into again so I organized it in here in hopes that I would potentially you know dive in again but we have not been there yet and now if we turn around over to my desk I have some few things on my desktop I have this acrylic organizer for all of my makeup brushes my setting sprays my cellar water hand sanitizer and some tools little mirror hairbrush situation and then we have this little folder in the back which I keep my planner a makeup palette and a magazine because I just don't know where else to put them and I didn't really have anything for that corner so that's what that is then we have my little makeup mirror over there my headphones because you know I'm just a gamer girl and then on the wall here I have kind of like a miniature gallery wall and I'm really into it. I have this huge clock that I got from Venice and it was like probably the most difficult thing I've ever purchased and had to carry around for multiple days. And then we have some pictures of my darling Jaden and then this random picture from Tumblr that I've just always liked. And then underneath we have my desk drawers where I keep majority of my makeup. So on the top drawer is, this is kind of like, well, I would say my day-to-day -day makeup, but this is like really everything I have in these drawers. So this is where I keep like all of my face products in these ones. I have kind of all my eye products here. I have some larger setting powders, moisturizers, some tools, some extra foundations back there. Then here we have lips, some more lips. And here we got some lashes. I don't really know why they're up there. That's not where they go. But then we have a little bin of kind of overflow products that don't really have a home. I don't really want to put them in this top drawer because I don't use them that frequently, but I don't also want to get rid of them. So it's kind of a little miscellaneous drawer. Then we have some cotton pads, some little clips to put your hair back when you're doing your makeup. Then this is where my lashes actually go. We have some flossers because that's something you always want when you're, you know, staring at yourself in a mirror and you got something in your teeth. And then we have, yeah, lots of lashes. We have a little makeup mixing palette. We have this little face paint thing I got when I turned Jane into a brat doll and he looked like Kris Jenner. And then we have this huge lip scrub that um, my mom got from her friend and it's kind of the best thing ever. Then we have some face wipes, some brush cleaners, some extra brushes that I don't really find myself using anymore, an extra hairbrush, some Sephora samples, and these are all like my palettes. Desi and Katie, shout out to your girls, gotta love them. And then underneath, we have all of my, or majority of my camera stuff. These are backdrop clips, some camera straps, some memory cards, a disposable camera, tripods, extra cords, more tripods, camera batteries, all of that stuff. And in the very bottom, kind of an overflow of tech stuff. This is my mouse pad. I don't really use it anymore because I got a larger one, but I still am obsessed with it. Then we have my trackpad, which again, I got a different mouse, so I don't really use this, but it's really nice for certain things. 
and then just a lot of extra stuff. For some reason, I'm still holding on to a couple boxes, some extra earbuds, some Polaroids, I don't know, all that stuff. And then behind this organizer, I have some pads of paper from my drawing class that I took last semester. I have a lot of remnants of that class still laying around this office, which I should really be using that stuff more, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And then this is my desk. This is where, you know, all the magic happens. Can you believe it? Um, so yeah, this is where I watch YouTube videos. This is where I play Minecraft. This is where I drink my Pepsi. Um, oh my gosh, okay, I have something to share with you. This is my baby Sven. This is my baby Steve. Iced out. I had them over on Jane's desk because I don't really have room, but they are mine and I love them with all my heart. Another thing we have in this office is our Amazon Alexa. Um, she's sitting under my monitor here, you can't really see her. But she's connected to all of the lights in this room, so I can be like, Alexa, change the office to pink. Okay. Pretty cute, hey? I do have the ring light on, so it's like, not as pink as like you would say, but like, it's pink. Um, Alexa, change the office to blue. Okay. Pretty cute, right? But yeah, I have her connected onto our phone as well so we can change all of the lighting settings. I have a little preset for the lights I like for filming. So I'll put that back on. Hopefully it looks normal again. Um, but yeah, we have her connected to all of our lights. We have the lights hanging above our desks as well as we have light strips that go around the back of our desks. So we can change the color of those individually as well. Alright, so that about wraps it up for this video. This is everything that we have in our office. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from me. And feel free to subscribe if you did. I post new videos every week. And I will see you guys then. Bye. You wanna say goodbye, Gunnar? You wanna say goodbye? This corner, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god, there goes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, so here we are at the, okay, no, <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be a long video. So here we are at the door of the office, and let's just go in together. No, what no, am I I'm supposed to, to say? Cut. Are you still there? To delete your message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?